Rahul Srivastav, are you seeing this as some kind of a Congress old style circus playing out or is it actually the Congress reflecting some would say a democratic spirit consulting all the MLAs, allowing both the candidates to make their case and then either Malikarjun Kharge or dare I say the Gandhi family decides? Rajdeep, I think we are glamorizing, you know, that uh, the basic element is, Rajdeep, this is politics. This time, the mandate in Karnataka for the Congress party is a very complex, diverse coming together in which the Kurubas uh, uh, and the, the Vokaligas, some bit of Lingayats, Muslims, everybody has come together. Uh, in that scenario, there are a lot of aspirations of these stakeholders in the electoral process vis-a-vis the leaders. Mm -hmm. And in that, if the Congress had decided straight away that it is going to be Siddha or uh, it is going to be Mr. T.K. Kumar, the other segment would have felt left out. It is an attempt to ensure that there are no, there is no sense of losers in this entire election, in this uh, decision making. Mm -hmm. And that is why I do find it funny that when Mr. Kharge says high command will decide, I think he forgot mm -hmm. that he is the high command now. Mm -hmm. I think it will it becomes absurd, Rajdeep. The point here is that uh, Mr. Kulkarni talked about uh, the democratic centralism. Decisions taken through vote can be decided by center, but the federal spirit of the Indian democracy and constitution empowers the MLAs to decide who their leader is, not somebody sitting in Delhi. This is what the Congress started doing with the, the Kamraj plan, standard during Indira Gandhi's period, Rajiv Gandhi, and the BJP is doing it now. Three chief ministers in Uttarakhand, Rajdeep. What are they? What was the decision taken by the MLAs? No. Change in Karnataka, Tripura, uh, Gujarat. These were not changes which are asked by the MLAs. Eventually, I think the MLAs, uh, MPs are becoming redundant. Political parties are suffering. Uh, they are bound to suffer. The Congress is already suffering since they lost all top leaders because of such uh, designs of the uh, high command. Eventually, the BJP, see, for example, Mr. Yadhirappa, uh, 2008, he had trouble, 2013, he had trouble, and 2019, he could not form a, did not have a cabinet for a month. Now, these are stark examples, Rajdi, where political parties should take note, primarily because once you dis the high command gets too, too dominant, mm -hmm. it becomes a high-handed high command. And that's the political risk in which you lose talent to other parties. Uh, you have central decision being taken. The tall leader does not allow any leader to come up. Also, Rajdeep, it is another problem in the modern times. The centralization of funds is becoming a problem for regional players and also the regional outfits of national parties. The funds are being controlled by the central party. So you're that saying actually one, what is happening is a concentration of power in a in a high command, it's been and happening economics. over the years, and MLAs and MPs, their views are not taken. Ajay Kumar, there was this exercise a few days ago, on Sunday in fact, three observers were sent, they apparently took the views in a secret ballot. Now, our sources are saying that Mr. Sidharamaya had the support of the majority of MLAs. Why not go by the MLAs then? Why do they then need to come to Delhi? Delhi, you can come to ratify a decision. Should Delhi play the final arbiter or should the MLAs be allowed to decide? They are the ones who have been elected. Look, Rajdeep, I think uh, uh, Rahul has said it very correctly. And that's what has... Look, I was on the sidelines, watched what happened in Himachal. Mm -hmm. The process was... The integrity of the process was remarkable. They have followed the same process in Karnataka. Now, and just hold uh, a few... I'll, I'll complete it uh, quickly. You had a voting. It was conducted fairly. The results were communicated to the Congress president. But irrespective of that, whatever be the decision which the Congress president in consultation senior leader takes finally based on the voting and everything else, and that is the process they followed in much. It is important to build a consensus so that there is everybody doesn't feel that he has not been heard. Now my question is, you know, RP Singh Sahib... Uh, no, 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 sir, it. sir, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, I want specific answers. You're saying the MLAs, we, MLAs have to be heard, but uh, shouldn't they have the final call? At the end of the okay. day, the so chief minister, you say that you this is vocal for local. Allow then the local MLAs to so decide. Rajdeep, either I'm not able to communicate to you or my, I need to improve my English. I was, I've been saying the same thing. What happened in Himachal? Every MLA was heard. The person with the 
largest support was chosen. The same thing now, whatever be your reports, I don't know on those reports what are true, what are false kind of, uh, you know, bylines which are running on the TV. I'm not going to even, you know, uh, what you call forecast or anticipate what was the voting, what was the results of the voting. But the fact is that I'm very proud to be a congressman to see that process. If what Rahul is saying is to strengthen the local, you tell me, and I'm not saying that my political opponents are bad because they use, Bajrang Bali has forgotten the Bhartiya Janta Party for sure, despite Mr. Arti Singh desperately trying to remember him in Karnataka for sure. But the issue is very simple, that we followed a process. There was a voting. And I'm very proud of the process. Okay, whether it was so you're, or whether, no, no, sir, I, I want to know whether the process will be what, you know, the, so whether the local the, MLAs have the... see tomorrow... Do the, the local MLAs will... have the final say? And, and you will know it tomorrow. Okay, you will know it to, like, like what Mr. Kulkarni has said. So the Prasno once it, I'll finish it quickly. I'm saying that, you know, Mr. Kharke and his experience over the years, it may be a slip of the tongue, what he said, and Mr. Arpi Singh, but there's so many slip of the tongues which uh, uh, the Bhakti Janta Party does, and I don't want to remove the list. But the question again is, he has brought that great deal of integrity to the way we select our topmost leaders, whatever be the methodology. There was a voting in Himachal. There was a